Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I also want to welcome my new subscribers here to my channel. Uh, so I hope you will continue to enjoy my videos and tutorials and hope it will give you some inspiration uh, to create some of your uh, projects. Uh, this video is um, a project using the We Are Memory Keepers Give Bag Punch Board. So if you are looking into purchasing one of the um, one of these gift bag punch boards or you already have one of these you could also make uh, these cute little mini uh, note card envelopes um, i haven't actually done a gift bag using the punch board as yet uh, but there are other videos um, out there here on youtube that will show you how you can make the gift bag using the punch board uh, i've had this for about Oh, I think about seven years and I actually was purchased I did purchase this for the gift bag uh, punch board to make gift bags but then I decided I was able to make a few other different projects using these so I have made uh, library pockets mini uh, pocket file folders uh, little flip pockets and a few other different uh, projects using these and I've had uh, some videos in the past uh, I'll try and find them all and link them down below if you wanted to have a look and see what other ideas you can make using this because it is still a versatile um, punch board where you can make um, other uh, projects and I think the great thing with these little note cards you could uh, coordinate them with the gift bag when you make it so then you can attach one of these to your gift bag and then add your little card or a note inside when you want to gift your um, uh, gift to somebody. But I'm going to show you how you could make these and I'll just show you first how, how cute they look like. Really, really simply made. And I think this would also uh, be perfect for advent calendar for Christmas. You can make a 12-day advent calendar and make 12 of these and add some little bits and pieces of uh, things that you may like inside you can add some handmade jewelry little trinkets uh, some little uh, lollies or chocolates some ephemeras or a few little messages or you could use this for lunch boxes and add some little messages in lunch boxes I uh, use this as a tooth fairy envelope um, it's just so really cute and also make a cute thank you card uh, so this one I just I used some Velcro for a closure and then this is also the same and this one here I added a little embellishment in the front so if you don't have a like a glue dot uh, sorry a Velcro you could use a little glue dot to the closure or to the embellishment to create the closure or you could use some twine and you can also give these as a pack you can give these like as a pack of four or for craft fairs and then you could also um, make the envelopes into a couple of other different projects so these are the two different ones that I made to give you an idea and I just placed some crochet uh, string to close the little envelope and then it opens up this way and then you have a pocket in there and then you flip this up to have another pocket at the back so this would make a perfect little ephemera holder for happy mail um, it's a perfect little flat mail as well for some cute little flat mail gifts or flat mail oh sorry or um flat embellishments and then you can also make it um this way which i think is another great little way to make this and it just opens up the same way and all you need to make these envelopes is just one six by six paper. I don't know how I've done this one. Uh, so you only need one piece of six by six paper to make the envelope. So if you have a six by six paper pad, you can make a whole six by six paper pad and make all these envelopes. And then it opens up this way. And I've got a little front tuck pocket here with a little envelope. And that just pops in there like that. And then there is another pocket here and then it opens up to another pocket at the back so you get two pockets and that again using the envelope style to make this so that's another fun way and I thought I'd embellish it with like a home theme 
So if you have uh, a friend or someone you know that's moving house, this would be a perfect little gift. And you can probably add, I think this will fit, a little tea bag sachet and then a little uh, welcoming home or congratulations to your new home, a little note in the back. And you can give one of these tea bags to your uh, friend that may be moving house. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, another way to do that. Or you, again, you can use it as a little ephemera holder to hold some ephemera pieces. If you're into journaling, place it in a page as a page insert. So I'm going to show you how you can make this really easily. So you just grab your six by six paper of your choice. We're going to need the scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can uh, just make a couple of little marks with um, a pencil. You can do that. So we're just going to um, score. I'll just show you where. We're going to score it along this little mark here, which is a little mark after the one and a half inch mark, which is a uh, five eighth of an inch. And we are going to score that. Going to score that all the way down and we're just going to keep turning it around and scoring it using that same score line mark at one and five eight turn it around and just keep going to do all four sides so you'll have all your score lines done and then we'll grab the punch board and we are going to, going to line that score line along that underneath that little notch. So you want to line that along that little notch there. And we are going to punch that down. I apologize if the camera shakes as I punch the um, punch board. So punch. Okay, so you've done that. And then we're going to move that along and continue along every, all the score lines. So again, lining the notch onto that score line, and we are going to punch that. And then we're going to turn that around and continue all the way. Lining it up again on that score line. Your paper should now look like this and have each of those score lines punched out. We'll grab a pair of scissors and we are going to line your edge of your scissors along the edge of your paper. And we're just going to snip where the score lines cross over and then we're going to bring this along this side again and line that and snip that off. And then we're going to go around and just keep repeating that by lining the edge of your paper. And then you can see how it's sticking that. We're going to neaten that up and do that and keep going. And then one more. All four corners should now look like this and these little pieces that we've just removed I keep these and this is what I've made with them so do you want to waste any I just made some little tiny um, medallion kind of embellishments just using uh, my paper punch and these are the sizes that I use this is uh, like a scalloped kind of um, punch you can use a circle punch and then I had a little small flower punch as well. And then I just grabbed the little piece and then I just punch it out. And then I've got one of these little shapes and then uh, just make a bunch of them. With this one, I can punch out two onto one of these. Maybe even three. So I don't waste these, I just make some cute little embellishments. And then all I've done was just use a foam dot and stuck it on. And then I use that to use 
as a closure on the um, envelope and the other one I used as an embellishment up here so don't waste these you can um, create little embellishments with them so I just thought I'd mention that so and now what we're going to do now we're just going to fold these four score lines Press them down really well. And you can then decide which way you want to create your envelope. It doesn't really matter if you want to fold it that way or that way. Just depending on your pattern, um, on how you'd like your pattern to look like. So I'm just going to fold the right one in and then this side over the top and then this one will also then get glued down and then you've got yourself a cute little uh, mini note card size envelope so I'll grab some glue and I'll assemble the envelope I'm just going to glue along the side here seal that off and then I'm going to seal this up and what another Good thing you can do with this you can create another pocket little tuck pocket you can just glue along this side along this side and then seal that up and then you've got yourself a little um a tuck pocket here and then you've also got a tuck uh your envelope up here and then you can close that off so that is another uh, great way you could do that I'm trying to find a little tag um i'll just use this so once you glue those two sides, you've got yourself a little pocket up here. It's really cute, but um, I will just do that. I'm just going to seal this side, just so you can see. But if you don't want that, you just seal the whole flap over and then close that up. So now you have yourself a cute little envelope. And to make this one, this really simple double envelope flip. I didn't glue this down so I could show you. You just grab two envelopes and then you're just going to grab one and turn it this way so that the closure folds back and that part will get placed inside the other envelope and then there you have that. And what you do, you just glue this whole part down and then slide it in here and glue that down and do that so in this case you could have this one where I've made that little front tuck pocket so you can have that as your little tuck pocket you can also have this as another tuck pocket and close that up and then just add some twine or some velcro dot and then you can embellish it so that is another way you could do that and to make this one if you wanted to give this one a go all I've done here was I grabbed two envelopes I removed the uh, top uh, closure just by cutting along that score line and same with the other one so you'll have two pieces with the closures all cut and then you are going to uh, grab some double-sided tape let me see I might make one all you do is just going to cut this out and again you can keep this don't don't uh, throw that out because you could create little paper embellishments with them so cut them out and you want to grab another piece of paper, um, another six by six paper, just cutting that in half. So you'll have a three inches by six inches. And you're going to score this piece. So this is going to be the uh, cover for your little double pocket. And you're going to score that at, just lost my score tool. Uh, you're just going to do two score lines. Uh, on the six inch side, you're going to score a one and a quarter turning it around do the same thing on the other side and score that at one and a quarter and we will 
fold one side up or you can fold both but we'll do the one first and this is going to be the bottom part of the same as this one we'll grab the double-sided tape and uh, you can have it facing that way so you don't see the actually you want it this way because it's got the little notch on the bottom so just decide which one you want facing at the front I might have this one you're just going to place a strip of your double sided tape in the middle somewhere actually yeah and then just lining them up together press that down and you're going to have two and then we're going to place another strip at the back here so that it could adhere to the back of the cover so again just in the middle going to place it just a little bit above the score line I want just placing it just a little bit above just to give it room for this uh, uh, front part to close so just press that down so now that can close up and all I'm going to do is apply a little bit of glue just along here because I'm going to create a little um, front pocket just there just so this can close up and then you've got this part as your closure and then you can corner around your corners like I have here if you wanted to do that This is also a We Are Memory Keepers um, corner round and get three different size uh, shapes to corner around your corners. And there is your double pocket. And then you've got your front pocket here for your little tag. And then you can embellish it and add all of your fun little bits and pieces inside. So that's how to make that. And then you've got all of these cute little note card envelopes that you can make with just one six by six paper and that is another fun tutorial using the we are memory keepers gift bag punch board um so i hope you give this a go if you have one and i'll see you soon in my next video bye